Hey Scorpio, so I'm going to do your reading. We're going to see what your messages are at this time. Just keep in mind while you're listening to the reading that this is a general reading. So if it doesn't make sense, do not force it to fit your situation, okay? Keep listening to your intuition, Scorpio. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you know, everything is going great. We're going to go ahead and get started on this reading and we're going to see what messages you guys have at this time, okay? Okay, integrity. Does the situation align with your values and morals, okay? Let's see. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Addiction. An addiction is affecting this relationship, okay? So I feel like um, Spirit is showing you something about a person that you may be talking to. Maybe you're not talking to this person. I don't know. But there's somebody here on your mind. And I feel like Spirit is pointing something out about them and asking you, is that what you want in your life? Thank you, Spirit. Soulmate. It says your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. So I feel like you and this person have a very strong connection. Okay, with that soulmate card, this may be a best friend, this may be, you know, you just have a really close bond with this person, um, but still, this this question is still, it still remains. Whatever this person is doing, it's conflicting with what you're doing at this time, okay, and Spirit is trying to show you, do you want this in your life? You can still love people from afar. You may be outgrowing this connection. Can I have one more, Holy Spirit? You can still have love for somebody and not be with them because you realize, <laughs> you know, it's not good for you at this time. All right, so yeah, this may, so this kind of feels like a situation um, that has already taken place, okay? It feels like you have made your decision in the past about this person, you have let them go. Okay, and so they're coming back around because now they feel like um, there's still some unfinished business here. But I feel like with this mastery card, it says you've learned the spiritual lesson. I feel like whatever spirit was trying to show you about uh, or through this person, you got, you get it. You understand it. This person... Um, this feels like a return. This relationship deserves a second chance. Spirit, one more. Decision is here. It's time to decide about this relationship. Balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship. And then I see healing, old wounds, and childhood issues need revisiting. Somebody is still not ready is what I'm seeing. This person that's coming towards you, it kind of feels like they're still not ready. But there's so much love here. You care deeply about this person. So I, I feel like Spirit is asking you again. It's a, it's a question that, you, that Spirit has asked you in the past. Does this situation align with your values and morals? This is a reading for those of you that are considering taking someone back from your past, okay? If you know that you don't want a past person, this may not be a reading for you, but you can still watch it. <laughs> Spirit, what do you need the collective to know about this person that's coming through at this time? Okay, so two of wands is here. It's time to decide about this relationship. Tell me more. Do you want to do this again with this person? Spirit, what do you need the collective to know about this person? Let's see. Let's see about that. Okay, so this one. This one. Okay, so the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Rods. King of Pentacles is normally somebody who is mature, grounded, stable. Okay, so the world is here and it's upright. Okay, so this could be a Taurus. This could be a Scorpio, an Aquarius, um, a Leo, 
any sign but I'm seeing somebody where there's definitely this match here the king and queen of pentacles but you have gone your way this person has gone their way and on this person's path they have learned some lessons mastery you've learned the spiritual lesson so they're coming back around you because they still have love for you that didn't go anywhere they still respect you they're gonna always love you okay and i do feel like this person has you know really taken the time to to learn okay this this world's card is upright so this person has learned the lesson that was presented to them at the time all right what else the spirit what else does the collective need to know about this person holy spirit so they want to come towards you i feel like this person is very excited about trying again can we do this again yeah this is a love offer so when this person comes back around you're gonna have to use discernment you're gonna have to really listen to your intuition okay does this align with where you're going in life what you want out of life this person being in your life is this a benefit for you can you move past this whatever happened between you two in the past are you able to move past that are you able to accept this person back? Do you want this person? So I feel like these may be some questions that you ask yourself. Like, do I really want this person? Can I forget? Okay. It's like, can I forget how they treated me? Or Okay, can I... Um... not hold on okay so forgiveness i'm seeing this ace of cups as an apology this person is trying to move past whatever happened between you and them they want to move past that so they may be coming towards you with an apology i'm sorry i was this way but I was going through some things. This is why I behaved this way. I wasn't myself, but I, you know, on my journey, I've learned some things about life and I realized like you're somebody that I want in my life. Okay. That's what this person is saying. You are somebody that I want around. I want you in my life. And so again, like it's going to be up to you whether or not you want this person back. Take some time to sit with yourself, listen to your intuition. All right, collective, um, let's get back into this reading. Let's see what comes out. What else does the collective need to know about this person? Yeah, the sun card is here. So I feel like this is going to be a moment between you two where a lot of clarity is shared. A lot of, um, it's going to feel good talking to this person. Yeah, it's going to feel nice. This person wants to work with you, okay? They want to make this relationship work if it's possible. Yeah, if it's possible. They're not really sure if you're going to accept them, okay? So I feel like this may have been something that has already happened. You may um, have already had this conversation with this person and they're just waiting for your reply. They don't know what you're, what you're gonna say. But they can see that you're very guarded, you're very defensive, which is understandable. And I feel like they're saying, but I'm sorry, or um, I'm not the same. I want to, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm new. I'm different. Yeah, they're apologizing for what they put you through. Spirit, what does the collective need to know about this person? This could be a Leo, or you could be a Leo. What does the collective need to know about this person that's coming towards them? Okay, so the nine of swords, so this is they feel guilty. This is a major loss that this person is experiencing or has experienced um, by you not being in their life is what I'm seeing. For some of you, this person decided to entertain other people, okay? And it just didn't work out because the connection, it wasn't the same. The connection that they had with you, it wasn't the same. Um, with these other people and they know that now okay spirit what else do you need the collective to know so at the end of the day it's, it's really up to you whether or not you want to take this person back what else do you need the collective to know about this person let's see what else holy spirit oh okay 
Okay, so the Magician is here, reverse. The Knight of Pentacles is here. I feel like at one point, you really tried to manifest this person in your life. You tried to bring them back to you, or you tried to like have a conversation, but now that it's here, I feel like you're not really sure if you want this person. So it's like a cliffhanger is what I'm seeing. You're not really sure. Yeah, if you want this offer. Queen of Swords is here. I feel like you are aware that this is a, a soulmate connection, but your mind may be in, in focused on other things right now. You may be focused on your career. Yeah, the Ten of Wands is here, the Ten of Swords. I'm also seeing like this person, um, they really did hurt you. This person hurt your feelings. This person, um, yeah, the, the breakup, the separation, this, it really hurt. Okay, Spirit, what else do you need to collect it to know? Yeah, so when this person comes towards you, you're not the same. You're not as open to them. You're in this energy of protecting yourself, protecting your peace. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. But again, like I feel, I feel like you're aware that this is this is someone that you definitely value, okay? But you're just mad at this person. You see how she's not even facing him. You may be mad or your feelings are still hurt. So I feel like you need some time. Okay, Holy Spirit, what else do you need collected to see? This may be someone that you have children with. You may have had like a whole household. You may have been married to this person. For some of you, this person was a, was on drugs or was an alcoholic, and it kind of feels like that's what broke up the family, and you're not sure if you should trust this person. Spirit, what is this person saying to the collective? Let's pull out a few cards. Saying, thank you. I need your support. I need your support. I need space to figure out what to do next. Okay, so this person needs your support, and you're saying I need space to figure out if I, you know, want to have you back in my life. Okay, let's see. This person is saying, don't walk away. Okay. Can we create something new? What does this person need their support need the um support with? What does this person need support with Holy Spirit? What does this person need support with? Why are they asking for support? What do they need from the collective? Okay. The nine of wands and the nine of cups is here. Okay, so I feel like this person really wants you to be on board with whatever they're offering you. This, you know, second chance here. They want you to be on board, okay? Spirit, tell me more about that. What? Okay, so they want you to be more excited about, yeah, the Two of Cups is here reverse. But you're just not. It's like, you just you don't you're not the same person i'm just strongly getting that you, your your heart is different not saying that you're you're more like um you're just more secure you're not as open you have so much love to give but i feel like this person really showed you that when i extend myself in this way and i don't get the same in return it, it can hurt me and this is somebody who really um They really hurt your feelings more than anything because for some of you, I feel like you look at this person as like a true friend, 
okay? Or like somebody that was on your side, okay? And whatever they chose to do and get into, um, they didn't choose you in the past. And that, that's something that you still, um, it, it, that feeling hasn't really gone anywhere or it's still there. Like that feeling of like, you left me, you know? Like you were supposed to be with me, we were supposed to do this together, but you left. So, you know, you, you, I just kind of feel like you're not ready. Let's see. So they don't want you to walk away. Spirit, is this person going to keep trying? Okay, the Five of Pentacles and the Death card is here. They don't like that. They don't they don't want you to say they don't want you to walk away. They don't want you to um not open up and that's you know, that's <laughs> you're human. So like if your feelings are hurt, like you need some time to heal you need time to heal is what i'm seeing this person is looking at you like okay i know you're my soulmate you're my person i get it i understand it now i'm sorry i did this to you i wasn't aware of it i didn't you know know that all of those other women weren't you or all those other men weren't you you know i didn't understand that but now i do that's what this person is saying now now i do and i'm ready to love you i'm ready for us to be in a relationship i'm ready but you're not ready is what i'm seeing Whatever they did to you, how they left you, how they maybe ghosted you, whatever, that is still something that comes up whenever you think about this person or see this person. You, you look at them like, okay, so you you, you left me. <laughs> you left me, all right? And I'm not going to forget that. And I feel like you may have an argument. For some of you, that may cause an argument. Because they don't like that. They don't like that you're, you don't want to be with them or, um, yeah, you guys used to be so close is what I'm seeing. Two of Cups, the Soulmate, we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. You guys used to be so close. It used to be like this. You know, this used to be a unified relationship. And now this is like discord, it's disharmony. It's not the same love. The love is like it's suppressed. It's, it's deep down. Okay. This person is going to have to really prove themselves. But I don't even know if they're going to be able to have that opportunity. Because some of you, you just, you're, you're over this. Tell me more. Yeah, some, <laughs> some of you are just enjoying your <laughs> your um, your independence, your freedom, you know, like, <laughs> and this person, they don't want that. Wow, okay, so this person sees you. <laughs> it's like, you look too good. Like, this person is saying, you know, you look way too good to be out here by yourself. You need to come back home. You need to, we need to be back locked in, okay? Like we need to be here again. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know why you feel like you can be by yourself. Like we're supposed to be together. This is us. And you're like, man, if you don't go somewhere with that. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. This person, um, so I feel like they're ready to like recommit to you and you're like, No, I'm good, I'm okay. Yeah, justice is here. The page of rods is here. Like, I feel like you're living your best life. You're you're having you're having fun. Like it's summertime. Like you know, I feel like it's it's too hot to be locked down anywhere. No, <laughs> it's too much. Tell me more, <laughs> spirit. Tell me more about the queen of rods. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups. And then it's like when you think about this relationship, like there's there's so many things that stop you and kind of like block you from giving this person another chance. Yeah. 
I see you're not responding to this person's messages or you're not responding to their energy the same way that you used to. That loving, nurturing, um, caring energy that you used to give them, um, it's not there anymore. Okay, this person is having a hard time understanding these changes that have taken place within you. So I feel like this is somebody who will continue to pursue you, but I don't know if they're going to get um, too far. Let's do one more deck and then I'm going to wrap this reading up. Alright, Holy Spirit, what else can you share with the collective about this message? What else can you share with the collective about this message? Let's see. Okay, thank you. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. That's that Queen of uh, Ra's energy. You know, I feel like, um, yeah, you do recognize this person as a soulmate. This person means something to you. But you can love this person from a distance. Like, there's, you know... What's the harm in that? <laughs> I feel like you're still, like, you have love for them, but I'm enjoying my freedom. Like, I'm enjoying my, my, my free time. Like, I don't want to be locked down to you. I don't want that. You're very independent, and I feel like you're, you, you're enjoying your freedom. I see that strongly. So, really tell me, tell me more. Can I have one more? One more. Yeah, you're free. Make the effort. It says, great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. So this person is not going to give up. Yeah, you're single. You're free. You're living your best life. You're glowing. You're like, you have a lot going for yourself. You look good, male or female. Your energy is very um, high vibrational. You have a glow to you. This person sees that and they are determined, okay, to take the steps that they're guided to take. They're coming towards you because they feel like they they need to, okay? So I feel like this person is someone that you're gonna keep hearing from. I see you deserve love here at the bottom of the deck. Worth waiting for, divine timing is at work in your love life, okay? So we'll see how this goes, um, but that's the reading. I really do hope that it was helpful. If so, you can like, share, and subscribe. You can also turn on the notification bell so that you can see when I post readings. If you're interested in a personal reading, I am available. You can email me. It's in the description box below. You guys take care and I will talk to you later. Bye.